So yeah, before I start, this is using the beat detection that I uh, made a video on that my last video is based on, or like about. <laughs> so um, yeah, in that beat detection video, we created the space that um, can also can both detect kick or like the other comp can detect the kick and this one the snare and I'm using the snare one on this video so I can I highly recommend watching that um, yeah <laughs> so um, all right uh, just I'm just gonna delete all of this stuff and um, show you how to create all this All right, so this is what we what you're usually starting with, um, and um, yeah, so I'm basically just dropping a an audio file in here, which with the sample file selected, and the audio device out is connected to it, so we can hear it. So I'm playing this, just hearing the default file, and um, yeah. So, and I also just have this movie file in where I just picked this video. I recommend a video that is not too short, so like two to three minutes minimum or a loop. Both is fine. And um, also, <coughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, now I'm going to drop a, uh, like the comp in here. So the beat detection. Uh, snare comp and um, yeah I'm just gonna dive into it qu very quickly so this is what we made last time and I've just uh, the thresholds just set to 0.5 that's fine and the mold to zero and um, we're not changing anything else there so I'm going to attach a null to this and before I uh, go further just explain you what we're gonna do here uh, a bit so <coughs> we we're working with cues so a queue is um, is basically a selection of the the second or the frame or the fraction or the index of your video so um, what this means if I turn Q on and change this now like this is set to se seconds so with like the one here I can like select the different seconds or like I mean I can also go with the point one and smoother like slowly go through all the frames um, but I, I have full control over it like I'm not just playing it I'm playing every fraction or like second or whatever um, one after the other so um, we want to control this exactly, but like with the snare. So um, this is the snare signal. Uh, just goes from zero to one. So like zero is off, one is when the snare hits. Um, uh, so we need to do some stuff, but I'm already gonna like um, connect that here, say chop reference. And so you can already see like when I drop that in there, that the when the snare hits, it, it jumps to one, so like to one second, and then shortly shows that one second. Yeah. So, what we want to do now is <coughs> um, to, like I've showed this in another video, I'm going to add a trail here. No. Uh, here. So, um, we can see what's going on. So, it is always like going uh, like up and then down again and then up and then down again but we want it to constantly go up so um, it's like in the this time audio time substitute video that I made um, that we we don't want the signal to be, to be between 0 and 1 as it is now but we want to have it continually arising so we're like going through all the different seconds of or like frames of the movie so we do that by using a speed job and we don't actually need to change anything there we can just put it in there so you can see it so instead of just going up and down uh, this is always like adding this value to itself so it's like rising all the time so you can already see this is like picking at the next uh, yeah 
next part here. <clears throat> so it's slowly evolving to the music already. So it's uh, uh, already pretty nice. So just two things to make this, uh, to give you more control. So one is taking a math job, because now it's just really very small increments always. So like very small steps it's taking here. So we can change that by changing the range from, um, there's two things I want to change here. So first I'm going to change this to like 10. So this is taking bigger steps. You can put any number in there to feel like it's good. And um, the other thing is that um, this is really now only moving, like the video is only moving when the snare hits. And that's maybe something that you want to have, but I, um, I'm going to show you how to not ha have that. <laughs> so you can just put a one here and now it's like, or a two or something. I wouldn't go under, w under one because then it's going to lag or it's going to look weird. Let me just show you. So it's like, because it's going too slowly through the, through the, uh, through the frames of the video. So like one is the minimum that makes sense here. Um, unless I think you have a very high uh, FPS video in there. Um, all right, so now you can see this always adds like uh, 10 and this is always moving and only when the snare hits, then it actually adds 10. So um, yeah, so that's pretty cool already. And now one last thing to make uh, is a bit smoother because you can kind of see this is, mm, it's not very, it's not a very smooth signal that's uh, happening here. So I'm going to use a lag um, and take this as an input here actually as a as this input for now so um, what the lag is doing you can uh, look at some other stuff here we're only focusing on this now so this is the input lag so kind of like an attack and this is the output lag so kind of like a release and um, now you can already see here if you look at the signal then um, yeah, there we go that we have like this attack and release here instead of just being like up and down. So I don't actually want to have an attack. I want to have it hit right when the snare hits. So it looks like this. And yeah, I'm going to leave it at uh, 2.2 point, uh, because point that's, uh, that's a pretty sweet value for this. So it's like nice and smoothly going back to zero. And this uh, also makes for the um, this signal to be uh, like a bit smoother. So if we take this away, it's a bit more like, yeah, it's less smooth, I guess. So you don't have to do this. You don't have to do this either, but both of these just give you more control over the whole thing. And yeah, that's, uh, that's basically it. You don't need this trail. And if you want to reset the video, you don't have to uh, like pulse or re reload that here, but on this speed here, say pulse, and it's gonna restart the video because it set sets the the value to zero. So yeah, so the the frames or the second of the video are also gonna be zero. And um, <coughs> also one thing you, you can do here, if maybe maybe that comes of uh, use for you, is change the limit type to something like loop. If you just want a part of the video, so I just want 10 seconds to be looped for whatever reason, like 10 seconds of the video, uh, then I can do that uh, using this limit here or like a zigzag, but I don't really uh, recommend that because as you can see now, it's going to go back like re in reverse uh, and that really slows down the, the playback. So I'm just going to leave this off and um, 